what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so we're back with you guys coming up with creative booking ideas and creative booking decisions on how to book austin theories cash in his money in the bank cash in so i want to see what you guys could come up with what you guys came up with if i don't get to all the comments please don't hold it against me you guys sent in a lot of comments so i'm gonna try to get to as many of them as i can i don't want to make this video too long so let's get right into this and see what you guys came up with someone said i would have him cash in on cody as soon as he beats roman at mania laughing my ass off get theory super make a heel heat and then someone responded, that reminds me of when Daniel Bryan won the title and Randy cashed in. That would be cool. Um, That could be an interesting one. That could be an interesting one. But the problem with that is this is a situation where the storyline for Cody is him. The only reason why he came back to WWE was to win the WWE Championship. Something that he always wanted to do to you know show to his father to like hey dad i finally did it you know what i'm saying and i don't think that would really work in a sense maybe later down the line if if cody was able to get the championship from roman and then maybe austin theory uh cashes in on him later on but i don't see it happening at wrestlemania i think if cody's main event wrestlemania he's winning a damn match but you never know, but I just don't see that being the outcome there. All right, so still studios put, here is my Austin Theory cash-in idea. SummerSlam 2022, the main event is up. Brock, let, Brock and Roman is in a last man standing match. These two battle all over the place. Roman spears Brock in uh, in the barricade. Brock F5 Roman through the announce table. Brock F5 Paul Heyman through a table. Usos then interfere uh, in the match, but Brock takes both of them down. Double F5s to a flaming table. You already hit. You already got me. As soon as you put flaming table, I was I was sold. I was sold. This let's let's make it happen, Vince. Book it, Vince. This this I don't even need to see anything else. All right, put a, a double F5 through the flaming table. Roman then spears Brock through the Titan Tron, and they are both down. Both eventually get up at the count of nine, and all of a sudden, you see Dub come out from the crowd with the chair. It's Brock with the chair until it breaks. Dub then acknowledges Roman, then leaves in the crowd. Leaves in the crowd. Out. Roman then wins the match, but he is severely injured. Theory then can then cash in, wins the match against an injured Roman. Then the next pay per view, um, uh, will then prepare Dub versus Lester in a no host Bart match. Lester takes Dub to Suplex City through the. <laughs> through the match as Brock picks up Dub for an F5. All of a sudden, Ross comes out of the crowd with the chair, goes in the ring, hits Brock in the back. Brock did not flinch and turns around and clotheslines Ross and German suplex him out of the ring. All of a sudden, Trill Billy comes out with a bat. Trill Billy hits Brock in the head with the bat. Brock stumbles as Trill Billy prepares to swing the bat. Uh, Brock in close on Billy Brock then F5's uh, Billy out of the ring out of nowhere Dub fears Brock both Dub Ross and Trip Billy begin to stomp the living shit out of Brock and Ross makes those noises e ah e ah e ah <laughs> Then they gave Brock the triple power bomb. Dub Prince Ben's Brock. One, two, three. Therefore, winning the match. There you, thank you for the 20 rocks for Raw After Mania Street. I'm loving that. This dude made up a complete fantasy booking. All right, then, well. There we go. <laughs> Comment down below. Let me know if y'all enjoyed that. That was actually quite entertaining. Oh, man. Best comment so far. All right. Let's see. 
Someone says, have him cash in on the 24-7 championship. Have him get in a beef with R-Truth and Dana Brooke that turns into a love triangle again. <laughs> turns out Theory and Truth are gay for each other. They decided instead they become the next tag team and beat the Usos or something. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're gonna have him cash it on the 24 7 championship. That's cold, bro. Oh my god, man. All right, someone said I would make him hold the briefcase for a long period. Roman loses to Drew McIntyre, maybe just one title. McIntyre loses to Seth before Mania. Cody returns at Roman, wins it, and challenges Seth for the title at Mania. That Theory cashes in on Seth and Cody, recreating the heist of the century, but with uh, with different people. Cody continues his quest for the title and will win it at SummerSlam. Um, this is the second comment of Theory cashing in at WrestleMania and taking a moment from Cody. Will it give him ultimate heel heat? Of course. Of course it would give him mega nuclear heel heat. But I don't know if they can drag it out all the way to SummerSlam. I think... If timing wise, I think if Cody comes back for a Royal Rumble, wins a Royal Rumble, I think he needs to win it. I think he needs to win it at WrestleMania. It, it just gives it that good field moment. He needs to win it at WrestleMania. And then maybe you can have Austin Theory try to capitalize on, you know, whoever Cody's feuding with or whatnot, make teases that he's going to cash in on him. And then at the opportune moment, then he cashes in on him. Because I, I think you still need to build up Austin Theory because his showing at Money in the Bank in a ladder match, he barely was in the match. He was laying on the floor majority of the match. So you need to build him up as the Money in the Bank briefcase holder. Just build him up. Don't rush it. If you're going to have him have it, make sure it's the right opportune time. That's my opinion on it. Now hear me out. If WWE really sees Theory as the next John Cena, if they really wanted to give him the ultimate rub, have him cash in on The Rock after The Rock beats Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Now, of course, I would rather Roman beat uh, The Rock, but if they really want to make Theory a star, cashing in on The Rock would be the way to do it. Once again, another WrestleMania cash in. It's not a bad idea. I know what he's saying. Like, he would prefer... Roman to beat the Rock because it only makes sense. Um, that's the only problem there. That's probably the only thing that makes this not work because you need, unless well, you need Roman to beat him just so it makes sense from the storyline they've been building. Because if Roman can't beat the Rock, then his title reign really doesn't matter because he couldn't beat the guy he needs to beat that's within his family to be. The head of the table so but I, I i see what you're saying here if you do that you do make austin theory a mega heel if he cashes in and that i don't think the the match between the rock and roman um will even have a title involved because it doesn't need one so i don't know that that is a actually interesting one though i will definitely give a like to that one all right so here we go so roman and brock are fighting and are completely exhausted after some time brock Hits a suplex from the top rope, which causes the ring to break. We've seen that spot. Both men are down as we see Theory cashing in his Money in the Bank contract, and he wins by doing nothing. Since the, the match is the last man standing, they can prevent both Roman and Brock from getting pinned. I mean, yeah, I, I guess technically it is a last man standing match. So all he, Austin Theory has to do is get out there and stand up. I guess. I mean, I don't know. I think that would be kind of be anticlimactic. But I don't know. That, that's a possible. That's a possibility. I can see that happening. Let's see what this one says. Monday Night Raw. John Cena pops up, challenge Theory for the briefcase like Mr. Kennedy and Edge. Since Theory literally was handed a money in the bank opportunity last second. And John Cena cashes in at SummerSlam. Boom. 17-time champ. And someone said it would be very good. Hmm. That's... That's another possibility there, but the problem with that, you got to really take into consideration that John Cena is not going to be a full-time champ. We literally would be giving the title to another part-timer because right now Roman is more on, on a part-time schedule. We'd be giving the title to another part-timer, and I like John Cena, 
but he would have to have he would have to be on the shows a lot more and i don't know what his movie and tv obligations he have but it doesn't look like he will be on the show as much so in theory that would it would be cool no pun intended but i don't think it's gonna probably happen that way i don't see that happening only because John Cena is not going to be around like that. But that is an interesting one. Someone says, make him lose it, damn it, damn. There's a lot of you guys that are not a big fan of Austin Theory winning money in the bank. I've seen it all over Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube comments. Like, y'all are not a big fan of it. And I can understand why. It's, it's, it, I, I think a lot of people are just feeling like it's, it's not his time yet. They want him to be the next guy up. It's just rushing it they feel like he's ru the wwe's rushing it and i can understand their points there here's how i will book austin theory by when Ro um by when roman reigns is when he's too tired to fight and austin hits his finisher and wins the undisputed championship one two three uh not only was that just kind of basic and kind of just like plain i i I don't even like it. The, the grammatical errors kind of even just ruined it. So I, I don't know about that one. That one was not good, <laughs> to be honest with you. No, no, I appreciate the comment, but that one was like, yeah, I could have easily thought that up. Like, uh, all right, yeah, have him cash in when they, he's injured. I think that was kind of the notion a lot of us were thinking. After a hard match at the Clash, uh, Clash at the Castle with the Usos interference and a surprise Sheamus and his buddies attack the Usos. Roman gets distracted, but he he had all, already hit the spear on Drew, and when uh, when he tried, he just ran into an exposed turnbuckle. After that, Drew hits him with a, a most powerful claymore of of them all and beats Roman for the title. After the match, Sheamus and his buddies went to congratulate Drew, but all of a sudden they started to beat him up so bad that all uh, all of them did their signature moves on Drew, did a lot of chair shots. After after a, a brutal attack on Drew, Rena just booed uh, them. Uh, I'm reading this correctly. Rena just booed them from Arena as they started leaving uh, through the crowd. Then music started playing. A town down. Theory holding the. Oh, holding the referee by his shirt, run as fast as he can. He is cashing in the money in the uh, uh cashing in the bell rings. He's going for the pin. One, two. Drew somehow kicks out. Theory's in complete shock for like ten seconds. Then, with all of a with, but then with a sudden smile on his face, picks up Drew, launches him into the same exposed turnbuckle. After that, he hits Drew with his signature move. And one, two, three. We have a new champion. Theory as well. Uh, champion theory as well it will be the cash in uh only for the wwe championship as well as drew will only win the wwe championship at at the match uh roman still is the universal champion okay now the only thing i i'm like kind of questioning is sheamus and everybody else helping i get it it's gonna be overseas so maybe they form a, a temporary alliance but then turning on him, it doesn't even make sense for them to help him. So that's the only thing. But I, I do like the idea. I do like the idea. Possibly that could happen. Maybe with a little different scenario. But I do like that idea of him, Drew, maybe winning the WWE Championship from Roman. And then all of a sudden, Austin Theory cashes in after maybe some type of attack or something like that. Like maybe Roman gets pissed. Because he lost the WWE Championship. He's still a Universal Champion, but he lost the WWE Championship. So he beats the crap out of him, and that happens. So, uh, that, that could be an interesting one. All right. At Clash at the Castle, it will be Drew versus Roman. Looks like the same, another same situation for the Undisputed Universal title. It was a hard far match between the two, and the Usos get involved, per usual. But with the New Day come in to help Drew while the referee is distracted. The Usos in the New Day brawling around the arena. Ball I mean, low blow Drew and Roman sets up for the Superman punch. He goes for the Superman punch only for him to hit Paul Heyman. Roman is shot. Goes for the spear only for him to be future shot DDT. Drew's old finisher. Roman is stunned. Fans are on their feet. Drew, Drew goes into the corner. Hits the Claymore. Drew says it, it's not enough. Goes into the corner. Uh, shouts 
for Angela Drew's mom. And hence another Claymore. Oh, Claymore. Uh, um, cover one, two, three. Drew wins and the crowd goes crazy. Drew is emotional, holds up the titles while confetti drops. Power goes off. And bang, Austin Theory from behind with the steel chair attacks Drew uh, to the point where blood is visible. I would love to see that, but you know how WWE is. Theory hits Drew with a, a concerto. Oh, man, Austin Theory going rogue. And cashes in the money in the bank. Drew gets hit with the ATL 1-2-3. Theory is the new undisputed Universal WWE Champion. The boos are so loud. Some of the crowds throw drinks and food show how angry they are giving the theory uh giving theory major heel heat someone else copied it Ooh, that's actually a good one i will give theory some real uh it'll it'll give theory some real good heel heat and another one another person said that was a a good one that's actually pretty good I'm not even gonna lie to you that's a uh, kind of what the other dude was saying except without the interference i think the setup of drew winning winning for his mother finally getting the job done Everything's going crazy. And then uh, Austin Theory attacks him from behind. Brutally attacks him. The only thing I would change, most likely, it has to be for one of the championships. I don't know how they're going to separate the two. They need to separate the two. Because you can't... Having one champion float be bo between both shows is not... It's not going to really work. They need to have two separate champions. Head champions of each uh, each respective brand. So I would have him probably win the WWE championship. And then you can do that. So not bad. Someone else says he tries to cash in on Bobby and, and loses still. <laughs> Imagine him cashing in the money in the bank on the United States championship to win it back. That's funny. How to book Austin Theory to cash in? Dope. All right. Well, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Straight. To the point, just don't do it. I'd have Theory form a team with Seth, uh, have Seth face Roman at the Rumble, in which Cody would win the Rumble, so fans consider the possibility of Seth versus Cody at Mania, have Seth win the match, which would be the second Rumble in a row where Seth beats Roman, only for Theory to double-cross him, successfully cash in, leading to Theory successfully defending against a baby Seth at the next pay-per-view only for Cody to beat him at Mania. Hmm. I like that. Doing both heels teaming. But then again, it's one of those things character-wise, I find it hard for Seth Rollins to believe to like really team up with him. Unless, unless, hear me out. I'm coming up with my own booking ideas. If Seth Rollins is so mad, because pretty much Seth got taken out the Money in the Bank match because of Matt Riddle. So Seth Rollins and Matt Riddle, they're having a few. They're having a, a little back and forth. And then you can have maybe Austin Theory interfere helping out Seth Rollins. Even though he's money, Mr. Money in the Bank. He'd be like, yo, you've won Money in the Bank. You know what it's like. You know what I'm saying? I need your guidance. You know what I'm saying? Because Seth, is, his ego is all about people worshiping him, praising him. That would be a, a, a nice little team up. Like, you won money in the bank before. You know how to do it. I need your guidance. And then that's how they do it. That would be a way to do it and maybe have Austin Theory in line with him, do what he said here, and then have Austin Theory turn on him uh, at the very end. So, I like that. Uh, that's not a bad one. All right. Let's see what this one's. Had, uh, we'll see what this person had to say. Have Austin Theory come out, confront Reigns just to play mind games. Roman looks concerned that he may lose his championship, but the Usos will probably try to protect Roman from Austin Theory. But Austin Theory is under the ring after Brock versus Roman match. Uh, Austin hits Reigns with the briefcase and, t and tells the ref, I want to cash in for the WWE Championship. So the match is official. Roman is uh, wobbly. Then Theory hits Reigns. Uh, with the all down uh, with the all down to win the title so that way the WWE championship can go back to raw and Cody wins the rumble to face theory uh, at WrestleMania uh, next year and I would have Cody win and to become the new WWE champion uh, that's not a bad one I think uh, what I've been seeing is people setting it up either for Austin Theory to cash in at WrestleMania or for him to cash in at SummerSlam 
for the WWE Championship or at the uh, Clash at the Castle. That's what I've been seeing a lot from this video, man. But, uh, hey, man, some of these are actually pretty solid ideas. Not going to lie to you. So, hey, I appreciate everyone that commented and and put time to um, put your your creative ideas on here. I'm going to probably read some more of these off camera because i don't want to make this video too long but if you guys like these type of videos definitely comment down below let me know what other fantasy booking scenarios would you guys like to be a part of like um if you guys want me to keep doing these type of vids i definitely will because it's fun to see your guys comments and and how you guys could book the show and sometimes better than the people that are paid to do it on a regular basis on WWE television. So if you guys want more videos like this, I definitely will do that for you guys. All you gotta do is hit the like button. Let me know, hey, let's do some more uh, subscribers, fantasy bookings, and go from there. But I appreciate all the love and support on the channel. Roll to 90K, appreciate y'all keeping me. See y'all next one, peace.